Let's do a video on why you should use a realtor if you buy new construction. Now, a lot of people think, ah, new construction, I don't really need a realtor because they already have the person there that does all the sales. Totally true, and lots and lots of them are amazing at their job. By the way, they're not all realtors. Some of them are just hired sales associates. They just get paid to be in the office and show and teach you everything and get you to sign the contracts. Um, but the contracts were created by their attorneys and they aren't practicing law because they're not really writing anything in. Um, so it's not a limited law like a realtor can do. But lots of them are realtors and lots of them do have your best interests at heart to some degree they want to take care of you. But lots of them don't. And I kind of so think kind of like sometimes that. look at it like a military recruiter, right? They never lie to you. They never tell you that something's not true. But they don't tell you all the truth unless you ask the right questions. So you got to know the right questions. Uh, most people don't know the right questions. And I mean, uh, just for example, a few of them would be things like, you know, should I go with a nine foot ceiling? If I go with a nine foot ceiling, well, what's the upcharge? Well, for example, they might say, well, the upcharge is uh, X amount of dollars for the framing. Well, that's true. But then there's also potentially an upcharge for the drywall, the electrical, because everything costs more because it's running more materials farther. Um, I mean, that's just a small, small example of, of how that might work. And it doesn't really save you any money to not use a realtor. There are a few builders occasionally will give you a discount if you're not using a realtor and you kind of push the point. They might knock a point off, maybe too. Um, almost for sure, a realtor will save you that much money in a headache, heartache, knowledge, and potential costs, especially in the current uh, market of new builds uh, where we're back to things being a little more of a seller's market. They have more power, they can be more pushy, and the negotiations change a bunch. Um, they're a lot less likely to give you any sort of deal on using a realtor or yes or no, doesn't really matter. Um, I can't think of any real exceptions to that right now. Some of them do give you a discount if you use their lender. Um, we can talk about what's good and bad about that, but again, you need a realtor in your pocket to know what's good and bad about that or else you could get burned. Um, so, I love new builds. I like almost all the builders I deal with, and you should too. Um, there's some great value sometimes in a new build, but again, not always. You need somebody who knows the market, knows what's likely to happen, things you should think about that you are never going to think about unless you deal with this on a regular basis. So uh, we'll get you on a new video here real soon.